If you grew up in Creef in Perthshire during the you know the 70s and 80s, you'll certainly remember William Lowe, the supermarket in the main James Square. It was underneath the, uh, well, what's now the Creef Food Company. It's, it was under the, the Woolen Mill. It was a fabulous store. And the time I'm talking about, uh, well, my girlfriend worked in the, the fruit and veg department. So talking springtime 1985, and she wasn't in this particular Sunday, but my group member and friend Trotsky, his late father uh, owned uh, a, a, a brown-coloured um, American Cadillac, you know, left-hand drive American Cadillac, huge, huge machine. So he borrowed it for the Sunday afternoon, and we both uh, were dressed up. Uh, in mafiosi outfits, you know, the stereotypical uh, mafia style wear that would put John Gotti, for example, to shame. But um, we came out of the vehicle and entered into the uh, Lowe's stores and we got a basket each and we wandered round to the where they kept the pasta and stuff like that and uh, we were both in debate with each other and I can remember um, I mean, the looks that we're getting from some of the shoppers. I uh, shouted to Jonathan, I says, uh, Hey, Louis, Louis, look. We got to eat some tin tomato, eh? We use this, eh? And he was uh, like, No, 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 we use the tomato, we fresh tomato like Mama used to make, eh? We do it this way, yeah? And uh, I'm not, not doing my best mafia voice, I'm afraid, but... Uh, get the drift, I'm sitting here with my camera and um, and we were around uh, getting spaghetti and uh, other components to make a, a bolognese and a sauce and stuff it was fucking uproar, it really was and uh, not a person knew who we were, we were so well dressed I mean I, I, I had this uh, flowing black wool coat and um, I had a, a white scarf and a black jet black hat and um, I think if I, I can remember, I'd uh, stuck on a moustache using my, uh, you know, spirit gum, and uh, I had this uh, uh, stage uh, makeup and uh, wigs and hairs and everything that it would have from. I got them from the Perth Theatre Group. I went in and asked them, um, "Do you have any spare stuff?" And they gave me a whole pile of stuff that I was using. Anyway, uh, we wandered around the store, and it was really a lot of fun uh, just doing this. I also remember in William Lowe's, um, uh, it must have been prior to that in fact, yeah, and I dressed up as a, I mean I was absolutely brilliantly dressed, uh, unbelievable. In fact I can't even believe that I'd done this, walked through the street um, from my grand's house, but that's just the way it was. And uh, I went down into Lowe's and it was a Saturday afternoon, the place was absolutely heaving and no one... Uh, no one recognised me whatsoever, whether it be in the street or in the store. I was so well dressed and um, I um, got myself a shopping trolley and I wandered all the way around um, to wind up my girlfriend. And she was there of course, And then, but uh, she recognised me. So she darted off into the back room, she was so embarrassed about what I was doing. But her friend uh, and colleague, uh, she was in stitches, I bought one grape and proceeded to float around the store and get to the checkout where the checkout girl weighed one grape and I paid for it and left. But uh, that was quite funny. And another time, my other group member and friend, Watty, Watty's been a friend since primary school, early primary, and we're still mates, uh, still occasionally bang into each other and have a chat and a coffee or something, you know. But, uh, on this occasion, that would be probably, I think, perhaps either summer 84 or summer, 80, uh, summer 85, I think it was. And we both uh, had these uh, huge overcoats on, uh, scarves and bonnets. And we both had a walking stick. This is what I remember. We walked out to McCrosty Park and uh, we've got lots lots of antics on, on route, of course. But um, we got to the the gates at McCrosty Park at the top end at Cormary Roadside and uh, we were stooped over literally like uh, a couple of old gentlemen in their 
the uh, late 70s or 80s or something, you know, and uh, we uh, purposely raised our voices to each other. And there was all these council employees down at the big flower beds next to the, uh, uh, well, it's the, where the bicycles are stored now. There used to be a, 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 a kind of uh, shop, and I think there is a shop actually near the tennis courts. Uh, anyway, um, just uh, just at the putting green where it used to be. And um, anyway, these um, council employees were all looking up. They were weeding the beds, and they looked up, and it's, they heard the commotion. And um, so Watty started hitting me with his walking stick. But uh, of course, we were just doing it in acting, and uh, so it wasn't painful. So we started clobbering each other with the walking sticks and shouting at each other and arguing. And next minute, we both grabbed on each other, which we agreed to do. And we kid on, we're fighting each other as we f roll down the slope. <laughs> and these uh, council employees were totally stunned. They thought it was a couple of 80 year olds having a fight and uh, <laughs> both rolling down the hill. It was fucking hilarious. It comes up in conversation that one a few times. It's brilliant to, to, to remember so clearly, actually.